Testament, the Israelites, the people of God, cried out to God in their desperate predicament, and God provided miraculous help, far beyond their hopes and expectations. So what about the people of God, Christians in today's time of coronavirus pandemic and panic worldwide? Can Christians cry out to God and see a similar help and deliverance from desperation to hope and joy in their lives? Yes, they can. Back on June 12, 1873, a group of farmers in Minnesota, USA, saw a blizzard in the distance sweeping toward them in the field. And then they heard a noise that quickly grew louder and louder, and it turned out to be a huge army of locusts. And in a very short time, entire fields of knee-high grass and wheat were gnawed to the ground. These locusts, called Rocky Mountain locusts, are no strangers to people in Minnesota. They generally disappear, though, after they first appear in a year. But this time, no, they raged on for four years from 1873 to 1877, causing severe suffering and misery to local farmers. In 1876 alone, locusts swept over 40 counties in Minnesota, destroying more than 500,000 acres of crops. After these locusts had eaten up their food, they dug holes in the ground and laid their eggs at a depth of about two to 10 centimeters, and there the eggs lay dormant in the winter. In springtime, when the snow melted and spring flowers bloomed, the eggs hatched. Within 40 to 60 days, the wings of these locusts developed, and soon the locusts were able to sweep over the crops once again to damage and destroy the new season of crops. Surely the local farmers couldn't just sit and wait. They racked their brains and came up with all kinds of attempts to get rid of the locust, like fishing with nets, applying smoke, digging deep pits, and so on. They even invented the hopper dozer in which a horse would haul along a metal sheet spread with tar and syrup. The stuck locust would then be burnt down, but unfortunately, none of these methods were effective in eliminating the locust. As a result, tens of thousands of farmers were forced to leave their homes. When all means to overcome this desperate predicament were exhausted, Governor John S. Pillsbury accepted the advice of community leaders and he turned to Almighty God. He declared April 26, 1877 as the statewide day of prayer in Minnesota. And on that day, schools, shops, institutions, and factories were closed, while thousands of people gathered in churches and chapels everywhere across the state. They humbly knelt down and prayed to seek help from God. Minnesota's last line of defense against the locust was God's mercy and help. God answered the prayers of the people in Minnesota, and a miracle occurred the very next morning. A cold current brought heavy snow resulting in severe cold weather. Now, there are very few examples of such extreme wind and snow at the end of April in Minnesota, but hail, wind, and snow covered that area for several days and the ground formed a giant piece of ice and wiped out countless locusts, forcing the locust army to flee quickly. And even more amazingly, the severe cold invaded the depth of the ground, killing all the hatched larvae and completely eradicating the locust plague. From spring plowing to autumn harvest of that year, there were no locust attacks, and since then, no such plague has ever happened again. When Christians in Minnesota look back on past history, and they deeply believe this miracle was the result of the offer of prayers to God on their knees. In 1877, they built a special chapel called the Grasshopper Chapel, which would stand to witness God's miraculous and wonderful deeds. This miracle was also recorded in the archive documents of the state of Minnesota. Back in the days when Joel was a prophet in Judah, God had mercy on the people suffering from the plague of locusts. He promised them, and I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and shall praise the name of Jehovah your God that hath dwelt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be put to shame. But well, Minnesota experienced God's protection from the plague of locust. And while we haven't suffered from locust attacks today, the new coronavirus pandemic is causing far more loss and panic worldwide. 
It's now time for Christians all over the world to humbly kneel down and pray for God's mercy and help so that we can look forward to his healing and recovery. And at that time, God's miraculous deeds will make us like those who dream with our mouths filled with laughter and our tongues with joyful shouting.